So in this lab, we are going to design one wind bridge RC oscillator using OPM in TINA TI platform. So as you know that wind bridge oscillator is a low frequency oscillator. So that can be used to generate audio frequencies, sinusoidal signal, and it is one type of RC oscillator and it gives a pure sine wave output. So you can use a BJT or OPM to design the wind bridge oscillator. However, OPM can be used to easily design the wind bridge oscillator compared to BJT because uh, you know that amplifier section is really, uh, really difficult to design that uh, amplifier part by using PJT, the uh, proper selection of uh, operating point and all these things are required. So one important thing regarding wind bridge oscillator is, as you can see this part, this R1, C1 and R2, C2, this part is the feedback network and see that <coughs> output of OPM, so this one is connected to the input over the feedback network through this. So this part is a feedback network. And if you calculate the total phase shift, the total phase difference, the total phase shift provided by this feedback network is zero. So to satisfy Barkinson criteria, one amplifier is required, which doesn't have any phase shift or 360 degree phase shift. So that means you know that uh, Barkinson criteria is all about the total phase difference will be zero or integer multiple of two pi. Since this feedback network is not introducing any phase shift, so the amplifier must not produce any phase shift or uh, it may produce phase shift of two pi. So that's why the amplifier is used in the non-inverting configuration so that the total phase difference will be zero. Thus it satisfy the Parkinson criteria. And there is some other criteria regarding gains which can be solved theoretically. So what is the minimum amount of gain required? So, in this open, you see that I have used a supply of plus 12 volt, this one, and minus 12 volt, this one. Pin number seven is a 741 open, and pin number seven, the plus 12 volt is used, and pin number four, see the polarity is just opposite. Positive sign is connected to ground, that means it is a minus 12 volt, and a feedback register of 100 kilo ohm is used, and here 47 kilo ohm is used. That means the gain produced by this amplifier is basically one plus, you know, 100 by 47. Okay, and here this part, uh, sometimes you might face uh, some problem uh, during the simulation of oscillator because it is a feedback circuit. So sometimes the spice, uh, you know that background is a spice for every circuit simulator. So sometimes for spice, it is difficult to get the initial condition. So you need to apply the initial condition externally. So here I put that the initial voltage is 10 volt. So randomly you can put any value in between, you know, that uh, zero to 12 volt. But uh, here I have taken 10 volts so that the oscillation can start early. Okay. So without using this initial condition, sometimes it is difficult. So the oscillation uh, might not start or uh, it might take much time. So it's better to use initial condition when you are using some oscillator circuit for uh, to quickly generate the output. And you can easily calculate what is the output frequency by using the theoretical formula. And uh, let us go for simulation. So in the transient analysis part, so display starts from this and uh, the end display up to two millisecond. And uh, let us see. Since uh, the initial condition is given, the oscillation starts from the very beginning, but actually for oscillator circuits, the oscillation starts after some time. So it will take some time to grow the oscillation for stable oscillation, for sustained oscillation, it will take some time. So as you can see, the output is a pure sine wave signal. It's a swing between plus 10 and to minus 10 volt. So if you want, you can calculate that time period from here. So you can take the marker. So I am placing one marker here. Uh, it's very fluctuating. Okay, so another one marker I am uh, placing a little uh, here. So it's required to overlap two lines, but it's uh, really difficult. Uh, anyways, so the difference between A and B, so that is one time period. So it is approximately 197 microsecond. So 197 microsecond means around 200 microsecond. So from there you can calculate what is the frequency. 
So it is basically 1000 by 200. Okay, that kilohertz means around five kilohertz. Okay, so you can theoretically calculate that uh, by using the values of R and C used here. Okay. And uh, you can change this frequency by changing the value of R and C. And uh, as per that, the oscillation frequency will change. And also you can change the gain, but there is a minimum gain criteria is required. Below that, if the amplifier gain fall uh, below that minimum gain criteria, there will not be any oscillation. The oscillation will stop. So that's all regarding Windridge oscillator using open. So thank you for watching.